Hello, I hope you enjoyed the first of my 40 years in publishing stories. Now, what I didn't say is I was working for Andre Deutsch in the days that Andre was running the company and I had a job that at the time I would say now most people starting out in publishing would kill for because I was the office junior in a publisher, one of the best independent publishers in London, who was publishing fiction, non-fiction and children's books. And I had a timetable to work in every single department. So I might spend the day in editorial, then an afternoon the next day in production or a morning in rights and even going into accounts. So that's what's given me a whole overview of the publishing industry and it's something that I, the experiences I still use every day in my job. Now, Andre was Hungarian and he founded the company with two other directors um, and the colophon on the Andre Deutsch books is three arrows in a bow um, with a circle and I understood that the centre arrow was meant to represent André Deutsch and the other two arrows, one was meant to represent Diana Athill and the third arrow the, was meant to represent Nicholas Bentley. That's Nicholas Bentley, the cartoonist and illustrator um, who sadly died in 1978. And I asked Diana Athill few years ago when, because sadly she's no longer with us too, where the colophon came from and she told me that it was some metalwork or railings round about Russell Square or somewhere in that area of London. Now I walked around for hours after she told me that and I couldn't see anything anywhere so who knows but um, we did have a mock-up of the colophon in the office. Now Andre was from Hungary and during the Second World War he was interned. One of our best-selling authors was George Mikesh. Oh, if you don't know you probably think George Mikes but George Mikesh is the Hungarian pronunciation and George was one of Andre's childhood friends. I think they used to play chess together. And George was a humorous writer who, his best known book is How to Be an Alien, which is about somebody who is not English living in the UK. And it was written, I think, in the 1940s, published in the 1950s. And George was quite a prolific author for us. Uh, this is an omnibus edition of four of his books. I think this is still available via Penguin Books. And there's How to Be Poor, English Humour for Beginners, I've lost the jacket for that one, How to Be God, and How to Be a Guru. Now, if you notice on How to Be a Brit, Nicholas Bentley drew the pictures, and um, Nicholas did quite a lot of George's books, and then latterly it was Larry. Now, um, one of the things I wanted to say about George, or just about publishing in general, is how books are of their time, that they come and go. So when I was at Deutsch, one of the books on our publication schedule was a biography of Erno Rubik, who invented the Rubik Cube, amongst other things. So this was in the mid 1980s and Erno Rubik is also Hungarian and we George was commissioned to write his biography and at the time it was felt that there wasn't enough content for a biography or autobiography of Erno Rubik and the book was dropped but I noticed in 2020 that Weidenfeld and Nicholson so 30 odd years later Weidenfeld and Nicholson have published 
Erno Rubik's, I wouldn't call it a autobiography, it's, but there is an awful lot of autobiographical content. So it's really funny because you'll see there's other books that I'll talk about in this series where they turned up at one publisher at an editorial meeting and then I changed jobs and they turn up at another publisher at an editorial meeting. And one bit of salacious gossip that I'll give you about George Mikesh is that when he came in for lunch and our cook Piero was away and Piero will make several episodes of this um, I was tasked with going to get some sandwiches from Marks and Spencers for lunch for George and Andre and I have strict instructions to get smoked salmon sandwiches so that's what I did and I put them on the plate and then when I had to clear up after lunch all the bread was left and all the smoked salmon had been eaten so they'd basically opened the sandwiches ate all the smoked salmon and left the bread now I failed to understand is if all they wanted was smoked salmon why I wasn't just set out sent out to go and buy some smoked salmon why I had to go and buy specifically smoked salmon sandwiches who knows anyway if you're looking for a job in book publishing check out bookcareers.com may you all be doing a job you love and being paid the salary that you so richly deserve <laughs>